Well, hello, beautiful ones. This is Stacey Murphy, the queen of juicy love and feminine charm, and welcome to this edition of Juicy Love Expert Corner, where I give tips and insights of how to make your love and sex life a bit juicier. And today I'm going to be continuing with my series on the secret to understanding men, what I love to call the essence of man, right? I just, oh, that seems seemed so good to me because I love men. And if you're watching this video, I hope you love them too, all right? And so I just want to help you to educate yourself about what really makes men tick and talk so that your relationship and your interaction with men can be more harmonious and fulfilling and yummy, all right? So like I said, when I talked about the secret to understanding men, I'm talking about my man magnet blueprint, all right? It's a simple formula to understanding men. Now, mind you, this is a general formula. There are always exceptions to the rule, but if you ask many men, they fall along these lines very, very closely. And so here is a recap of what the man magnet blueprint is. It is men need and they love to have mental stimulation from a woman. This is like intellectual intrigue. When you combine that with sex appeal and sexual attraction, this makes a man feel good about himself when he's in your presence. And who wouldn't want to feel good when they're in the company of other people? You are going to be like his happy drug, right? And when a man feels this, this leads to the physical intimacy and emotional connection. So this is the path, the pathway to understanding men. So in other videos, I talk a little bit deeper as to, you know, why the man magnet is important. And I've also talked about mental stimulation and the mental intrigue, you know, which is the first, you know, key. So I like to kind of frame it up for you one more time. Think of the blueprint. It incorporates the four pillars of love. The four pillars of love are mental, emotional, physical, and sexual. And think of these four pillars like the four legs on a chair. If one of the legs is broken, if you try to sit on it, you will fall off because it's unstable. This is how relationships are. This is how the four pillars of love are. This is how understanding men and even men understanding women are because women um, incorporate these four pillars as well, but it's just in a different order than uh, the secret to understanding men. And the whole goal is for them to all work harmoniously with each other. That is the true goal. So in this video, we're going to be talking about um, key element number two, which is the sex appeal and the sexual attraction. Let me share with you why it is so high up there for men. It is primarily driven by biology. That's right, by biology. This is why um, men from different races, cultures, nationalities, they seem to follow the same pattern because it's instinctual. It's built into their DNA and it's driven biology because a man's main hormone is testosterone. That is what makes men, men, right? It is in charge of what we love about men, their physique, their voice. Also, it's in charge of them being more aggressive, more assertive, being protectors, being providers. All of those wonderful things that we appreciate and want in a man. But it also, ladies, is in charge of sexual sex drive for sexual arousal, is in charge of all of those things. Testosterone is in charge of that. That's why it's so high there in terms of the secret to understanding men. Here's the other thing about testosterone. It is very, um, testosterone makes a man very uh, tactile. His senses are a little bit more elevated. And a man's primary sense is visual, it's sight. That's why what a man sees is extremely important to him because it's also driven by his testosterone and it's driven by biology. When you understand that, instead of having the tug of war of wills between a man and a woman, you'll be able to like, okay, now I get it. Now I understand it. Now I understand why men behave that way. Now I understand why certain things are said, done in particular ways. Now, like I've said in other videos, some of you may watch this and go, why does it seem like women have to do all this stuff? No, that's far from true. An enlightened man, a man that you want to be in a relationship with, is also trying to understand you. That's right. He's reading the books about how to understand Venus. You know, I always say men are from Mars, women from Venus. So enlightened men are looking to understand women as well. They're also educating themselves. So uh, for my for my gift to you is helping educate you about Mars so that you can be in alignment with each other. This is what this is about. 
So how does the sex appeal and the sexual attraction, how does that manifest? What does that look like? You may be saying, and it's the simple, it is the art of seduction. Yes. The art of yummy seduction. Now, before you go and roll your eyes or go on a tangent, let me clarify what seduction is. It is not true. Authentic seduction is not what is put in Webster's dictionary, which has something in there about manipulation and some nonsense like that. That is a figment of people to try to control women because women are naturally seductive. Women are naturally flirtatious in an innocent way, not a manipulative way. It was turned into manipulation as a way of controlling us. And so, so many women started getting confused about, well, how should they be as a woman? Here's the true, authentic, and genuine meaning of seduction. So try this on for size. Seduction is being is having the keen ability to entice someone to do something that they, they want to do anyway. The reason why they're able to do that is you create a safe place for them to come out and play with you because they can feel authentic with you. They can let down their hair with you. They don't have to put up some front with you. They can be real with you. That is what true seduction is. It is a win-win situation. They feel good and you feel good. In manipulation, you feel good but they don't feel so good because you're trying to convince them to do something that they don't want to do anyway. And let me tell you, everyone seduces. Babies seduce. When a baby is in a crib and they're making all those, you know, googly noises and, you know, all those wonderful things, what happens? The parent wants to come into the child and they just smile. When a person, a motivational speaker, right? They're trying to motivate you. They are seducing you. Even advertising is seducing you to make you feel good about how your life can be much better with their product. That is seduction. Seduction is also known by other names, other affirming, empowering names. Seduction is charisma. Seduction is gravitas. Seduction is also yielding your confidence in a very yummy and happy way. Those are all aspects and elements of seduction, all right? And so here is how um, you can really practice and really embody the art of seduction as it relates to men. There are three different levels. I'm going to talk about each level very, very briefly. And as you'll see on each level, the intensity of the playfulness and the sassiness increases. All right. So level number one. So level number one is being a love goddess. If you want to learn about this a little bit more, if you go to my website, I do have an ebook which is Unleash the Seduction Goddess Within You. And in the ebook, we talk uh, a little bit more about the benefits of seduction and the role seduction has played um, in, in the past and in history and how you can benefit from it. But in that ebook, which is Unleash the Seduction Goddess Within You, it also talks about three different seduction archetypes. So the first one, like I said, is Love Goddess. Love Goddess is very playful energy, very innocent energy. It is um, energy that just, you know, wants to make a person feel so good inside. You can be a love goddess anywhere, anytime with anyone, with a man or with a woman. I am, I'm going to be very transparent. I use the love goddess energy all the time, especially when I am dealing with any kind of government institution, go into the post office, having to go fill out paperwork or you know, if you're going, having to go to the courthouse for anything, if you're having to deal with any kind of legal paperwork, I always use the love goddess essence because it is about, you know, diffusing any anxiety and it's all about making someone feel good, smiling at them. You can use that when you go to the grocery store. You can use it when you go to some big box place like Target, just a simple smile, love goddess energy, right? It's all about making someone feel good. The second level, we're going to kick it up a notch is the vixen goddess. That is where we get teasing in, right? That's where we get a little bit more saucy, a little bit more sassy. And we really show the essence of um, teasing intrigue. Remember in, in the uh, mental simulation video, I talk about one of the aspects of mental simulation is sensual and teasing banter, all right? So that really goes with um, 
the vixen goddess um, ascended energy. It's all about that teasing. It's taking things to another level. All right. It's taking it to another level. Like I said, that's a little saucy, a little daring, right? And you're just kind of giving that little morsel for them to follow. I always say leaving breadcrumbs, little morsels of breadcrumbs for men to follow. And the third level is the sex goddess. That would be erotic, all right? That would be very erotic. And uh, in my studies, I teach ladies to be the CEO in the bedroom. That's the chief erotic officer in the bedroom, right? And that's where the sex goddess is. And this is a woman who is comfortable, who is happy with her intimacy, her sexuality, and her sex life. She is adventurous. She is not timid, afraid, or shy, okay? And men love that. They will drink you up. They will think that they have reached the promised land when they experience a woman who is like that because they're so used to dealing with the opposite. And here's what I will also like to have a differentiation. There's a difference between being comfortable in your sexuality, being comfortable with being the chief erotic officer in the bedroom and throwing yourself at a man and spreading your legs after only knowing him one or two times, right? That is based actually out of insecurity because you think that's what you need to do in order to keep a man or attract a man, but that's the furthest from the truth. Men like to peel and reveal. They like to take their time. They like to work for what they get. That is the cat and mouse game. The thrill of the chase is what I call it. And this is what I teach my ladies who um, my, I call my love goddesses in my rock and love goddess program, because that is all about confidence training in the art of seduction and charisma, right? In learning how to really tap into your own feminine essence. Because like I said, women are naturally seductive, right? They're naturally charismatic. We have just forgotten to be who we are. And in that state of forgetting, we have gotten ourselves so tied up and so confused, right? And so here's the other thing. There are other cultures who really, the women really, really do embrace their femininity and their feminine essence, especially in Latin cultures and in many cultures over in Europe. They have many topless beaches over in Europe because they appreciate the female figure, they're not, you know, oh my God, you know, they're not in arms like, don't show this and don't do that because it is who you are, all right? And so I said, there, there are many cultures that are like that. And so I want you to think about it this way. Also, when it comes to seduction, and you'll hear me say this over and over because it is a foundation of my teaching, it's about being in your feminine essence. This is about being in your feminine energy versus being in your masculine energy. Everyone, both men and women, have masculine and feminine energy within themselves. And what happens is, ladies, this is about reintroducing yourself and making friends with your feminine energy. We have gotten confused in our modern society to think of femininity and our feminine essence as something weak. That if we're like that, then we're not going to be taken seriously, that people are going to think that we're a joke, that we're not smart. And that's the furthest from the truth. When you open your mouth, people will know if you're smart or not, okay? The way you carry yourself, people will know that you either respect yourself or you don't respect yourself. So being in your feminine essence and being who you are is where you are going to be the happiest. And this is also where men will be the happiest with you. And this is why that is. Men want to be with a woman who's in their feminine essence to be the perfect balance to their masculine essence. That is why there is true harmony. Because think about it this way, ladies. Many of you, would you want to be with an effeminate man that was like, hey, and all this other stuff like that? Many of you do not want that. You want a man to be a man. So why is it wrong for a man to want you to be a woman? This is what I want you to think about. And here's what feminine essence is and feminine energy is. Feminine energy is receptive. Feminine energy is nurturing, it's healing, it's caring. Think of also a, a, a brook or a stream. It's very flowing. It goes with the flow, okay? And there is a softness to it. The softness is not weakness. 
That's the difference that we need to clarify here. Softness is not weakness, especially if you've ever been with a man and he's touching uh, a woman. He really appreciates the softness, both physically and emotionally of a woman because it nurtures his masculine. And this is what brings the perfect harmony together, that yin yang for each other. Okay. And so this is the second key in the man magnet blueprint. And so ladies, I want you to embrace your divine feminine essence that makes you this powerful woman that makes you who you are. Because when you turn away from that, that's where insecurity comes from. When you turn away from your feminine essence, that is where, um, also being overpowering comes from. That's where self-loathing comes from. And let me say even a comment about being overpowering. Please don't confuse confidence with being overbearing or overpowering. A confident woman is very comfortable in her feminine essence. She doesn't see it as weakness because she knows she's a divine woman, right? And she was put on this earth for that particular reason right? Is to be herself, to contribute in that way. A woman that is overbearing is coming from her masculine energy because she wants to push, 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 do, do, do. That is very, very masculine. And if a man wanted to be with a masculine woman, he would just be with another man. But no, a man wants to be with a woman who is comfortable in her body and comfortable with who she is. And the art of seduction is very much who you are. So learn it, embrace it, love it, have fun with it, and enjoy it. All right, ladies? Because that is who you are, and men want to experience that essence and element of you. So love yourself. And if you want to learn more about my teaching and other things that I'm doing, please feel free to visit my website at theblissfullotus.com. If you are listening, looking at this video on YouTube in the description area below, there is a link to go directly to my website. Also, if you would like to have a conversation with me about how the Man Magnet Blueprint is or isn't playing harmoniously in your life, also in the description area, if you're looking at this on YouTube, you'll find a link there to fill out um, my Man Magnet Strategy Session form. It'll take only about 10 minutes. It's very quick. And then this is for women who either one are looking to be in a, an affirming relationship, who are looking to want to be in a new partnership, or think you, you can be in an existing relationship that may not be going so great and you want it to flow much easier. It's all about educating yourself. So go ahead, take some empowered action for yourself. The link below to have a magnetic strategy session with me is there. And it's wonderful being with you again. And so, yes, ladies, um, this is Stacey Murphy, the queen of Juicy Love and Feminine Charm. And thank you for being here with me today in the Juicy Love Expert Corner. Namaste. Bye-bye.